So even though us guys might grow up with the idea that we're supposed to do something, and if we don't get taught by our parents that, we get taught by movies at the very least, we grow up to think we should be doing something, and that makes most of us feel inadequate because most of us have never been taught how to do anything. So now what happens is we walk through life seeing women that we're attracted to and not being able to do anything. That's a guy's life. Some guys approach everybody. <laughs> Some. But what do you think that is as a percentage, really? What do you think? If this is all guys, this many are running up to every woman they like. This, in fact, this many are this many are running up to every woman. <laughs> this many are running up to every woman they like. And the rest of us, this many, will never approach a woman. And the rest of us, we wait for the right moment. And we're not very good at judging when is the right moment. <laughs> we also don't know what to do when we've decided it's the right moment. Which is why you guys constantly experience guys coming up to you and doing creepy shit. <laughs> so we then ask, okay, with this group of men, should women start being more proactive in order to get them to do something? How many of you have ever been guilty of this in some form or another? You said... If a guy hasn't got the balls to come and approach me, that's not the sort of guy I want anyway. How many of us said a version of that? You're crazy. <laughs> and I'll tell you why. I'm just going to give it to you straight. If us guys approached every woman we were attracted to, we wouldn't have jobs. It's all we would be doing. <laughs> so the idea that if a guy doesn't come up to me, I'm just not interested in him is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Guys out of 30 women that they might be attracted to, maybe will approach one. Maybe will approach one. Maybe we'll find the right moment with one of them. And here's what I mean by the right moment. A moment which he feels is easy enough to do something. Every other moment, the moment it presents too many hurdles, he doesn't do it. You're with a big group of friends, mm -mm, not going to do it. You're in a rush and you have that look on your face like I'm just getting my coffee and I've got to get to work because I'm in a meeting and I've got this stuff and I've got this stuff and I've got to go and I've got to go. Text, 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 oh my God, so many things. Yeah, I'm coming, Jake, I'm coming. Mm -mm. He ain't coming up to you then. She looks busy, she'll fucking kill me. You're standing with that friend of yours. Oh, he's my gay guy friend. He's so lovely. I always hang out with him. We always go out. Never get approached by guys. Wonder why. Mm -mm. He's not coming up to you while you're standing there with your gay friend because all he thinks is this is your boyfriend. This is someone that you're dating right now. He sees you walking along the street in the daytime. Most guys won't approach you then. You know why? Because they're worried that they'll look creepy if they do. Really would love to talk to her. Maybe I'll look creepy if I try. Don't want to do anything. But women, what they often do is they say, oh, no, but that's not true. Guys do come up to me like that. Yeah, 1%. 1% of men. And it's always the loudest guy in the room. It's the loudest guy in the room or the loudest guy on the street. And, of course, that guy is the one you always meet. Of course it is. I always meet players. Of course, they're the ones who approach you. Players are the ones that are good at that. They're the ones that do approach you. So if you're hanging back and waiting for guys to do it, of course you only meet players. Of course you only meet the loudest guy in the room. Of course you only meet that cocky guy who doesn't actually give you anything more. Of course. Because 10 minutes later, he's doing it with the next person. And tomorrow night, he's doing it with the next person. Not true in all cases, but certainly in many. With these guys, they're trying to find the right moment. So, my friends, it's not about you 
making the move per se. It's about you giving him a license to make the move. Because if you're the one in 30 that makes it easy, you're the one he's coming up to. You're the one he's going to try with. Don't be easy. But in the first five seconds, be easy.